Prison of Elders. One of my favorite activities in Destiny 1. It wasn't perfect, but I liked the variety it provided between the modifiers and the bosses. And the boss mechanics weren't raid tier complex, but they were kind of fun to work around. Like Urox who burned the entire arena floor every so often, essentially making it a floor as lava challenge. Or Golrot who slowed your movement with his bile. And Quodron who had one of the best iterations of the detain mechanic. And of course, how can we forget Skolas, who is just an all-around insanely difficult, yet awesome challenge. But with the release of the Taken King, Prison of Elders was left behind alongside Vogue and Crota's End, and it was sad. But the April update six months later would give the people what they wanted. More Prison of Elders content, now known as Challenge of the Elders. New bosses, new mechanics, new modifier combinations, new loot to chase, and a scoring system for leaderboards. Rounds were changed from 5 rounds with one boss fight to 3 rounds where each one had a boss fight. And Taken. Taken everywhere. And today, we're running some. Brawler, Precision Kill Bonus, and Trickle. Not the most exciting modifiers in the world, but Precision Kill Bonus is easily one of the best for this. And before we can even enter the prison, we need an Elder Sigil. So we gotta go pick one up from our boy Varix at the Reef. I don't know about you guys, but this is one of my favorite places in all of Destiny. It's just so peaceful here. And he has something for us. Nice. Okay, so we need this Elder Sigil to get 30k high score and 90k overall. God, look at that view. Alright, man, let's get it. Let's get it done. Welcome to Prison of Elders. Thanks for having me. Prepare. For combat. Let's go. Is it him? Texas, the betrayed. Look at a little tiny there, Texas. Oh, that's right. Like that here. There you go. That's what happens when you don't disarm the bomb. Alright, that was just a scuffed run. We got it this time. No deaths. Glad he doesn't stomp. That would be busted. It would probably make this impossible if he stopped. <laughs> okay, let's just end this. Fuck you, Texas. Two. Full heavy. Modifiers are the same. A servant of Oryx hungers. What are your mechanics? Oh, yes. You spawn these.
No scout feels better than Hung Jury in D1. Let's just end him here. Got 18k score. We can easily hit 30k next round. Victory. Well earned. The wretched night. Dark blade of the high. Oh yeah, look at that screen shake, dude. Oh shit. Got the mines. That one's invisible, what? I'm not even gonna bother with you, dude. God, the mines. Alright, we got the 30k. He's still alive. There we go. Your victory tells the tale. Oh yeah, you can't, uh, in Challenger Builders, you can't actually go down to the treasure room. It sucks. Some blues. 35 minutes. Not terrible, not great. Is that all? There you are. Look solid Glass enough. house. And Zalo Supercell, okay. Now we got the 30k high score for our card, but now we still need the cumulative 90k. So I headed to the tower to look for some potential mercenaries I could hire. And it was looking a little empty, and then bam, out of nowhere this dude came sliding in from the corner of the screen. Like, can we get an instant replay here? Absolutely legendary. So of course, I instantly knew this was my guy, so I messaged him about helping out for the next couple runs. He agreed, and next thing you know, we're in prison together. Y'all 
We knocked it out in roughly 15 minutes per run, and then he had to dip. But let's see what we got for completing our Elder Sigil. Alright, Varix. Yes. Elder's Weapon. Postmaster. Her memory with hip fire, eye of the storm, hand laid stock. Uh, these gauntlets are kind of meh. And uni remote. 